Good evening. This today is August the 26th. Right now it's 7:56 in my computer. So we are going to um, we're about to start the class. So there are four minutes. There are 7:56. There are four minutes left to start the class. Right now I will go mute. And I will wait for the people getting to the class today. Okay, there are just one minute left to start the class. Okay, so today, so right now it's eight one. Okay, today we're going to go over to the video conference number 18, how to use imperatives. So today we're going to go over to that, 
how to use imperatives. And now we're going to learn new vocabulary regarding places around the, the town. And also this is regarding uh, business uh, vocabulary. Okay, right now, I'm uh, just waiting for the people getting to the class and uh, uh, we'll get in mute once again while the people get into the class. I already sent a message uh, to people to get into the class. Uh, I did it uh, five minutes before to start the class. So they already know that at 8 p.m. the class starts. So I'm just waiting once again for them. We'll get in mute once again.
Once again, I already sent a message to them. So just waiting for people getting to the class. I don't know what happened. Probably they have issues with the internet. Okay. Oh, El, thank you for joining us. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? I have a day uh, very tired. You are Most very tired. Okay. Very good. I see. I, I have a cake and ah, but I'm here, teacher. Okay, very good. <laughs> I'm glad that you are here. Thank you, Carlo, for joining us. Okay, so we're going to do right now, we're going to move on uh, to the presentation that I have right now. And uh, we're going uh, to go over to this. This is video conferencia number 18. Okay, uh, thank you, Andres, for joining us. Good to see you. <laughs> Se acordó, Andres. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, has, he has issues with the cell phone, so that's why that is the reason he um, wasn't able to, um, to get into the class. So as I mentioned before, we're going to um, start with the video conference on number 18, how to use imperative. And uh, uh, we're going to move on to the class objective. At the end of the class, the students will be able to ask for, um, for and provide short oral and written instruction to get to the lo uh, location of a place by using imperative. Thank you, Carla, for joining us. Good evening. What is provide, teacher? Provide is give, dar. Dar. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay, we have the warm up for today. We're going to review the topics and vocabulary covering the last session. We're going to have a discussion. Then we're going to have a listening part regarding that. Then how to use imperative. We have a role play. And at the end, uh, we are going to go over to the review. Okay, thank you for, for joining us. Good evening. And as a warm up, we're going to review the topics that we covered uh, yesterday. Okay, so what do you remember about yesterday class? Is it de la clase de Ilia de ayer? We use the going to. We use the going be going to, very good. And what, well, what about vocabulary? Ah. Uh. Rates. Okay, rates. Rates. Uh, rates. Mm -hmm. And bake. Bake. Very good. And I have two more words, okay. but I don't know what is. Okay. <laughs> and kiting or in kidding and request. And title. If, if and it, how do you write it? Inquiring. Uh, inquiring. Inquiring uh -huh. is when you are asked something. Cuando usted está preguntando algo. Preguntando algo. Uh -huh. Por pide algo. Request es pedir. Hacer una petición. Thank you, Julia, for joining us. Good evening. Okay. So what else do you remember? Just that, the be going to and those vocabulary. Okay, so very good. So we're going to do right now, uh, we're going to share uh, this part. Let me just to zoom this out. Okay. Let me share this. Okay, yesterday we went over to this exercise uh, regarding uh, the how um, describe what these people is are going to do, right? So as uh, we said, they're going to go dancing. He's going to read a book. He's going to swim. She's going uh, to walk. They are going uh, to play tennis. 
um, she is going uh, to buy jewelry. They are going uh, to the cinema or they're going to the movies or the movie theater. And he is going to call his boss or his girlfriend or his wife. So it, we mm -hmm. don't know who's going to call. But basically we use the present um, and this, excuse me, the be going to when we have already a plan. Teacher. Yes. And the picture number six, uh, she is going to buy a uh, jewels. I was going to buy jewelry. Jewelry. Jewelry son las joyas. Aha, pero es este similar jewels? Yes, that's the. O solo diamantes. That is the diamonds son los diamantes. Aha. Uh -huh. But you can say jewelry as in general. Ah, uh, okay. Like joyas. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, so. How do you write Jolly? Jolly, you write it. I will just to unshare this one. Okay, what I do is I will write it in the chat. I don't know if you can see it. The chat? Yes. Okay, that's the writing. Okay, let me sh continue sharing this part because we're going to go um, to continue with some exercises. Okay, so we have uh, this part. Okay, uh, Carla, can you read the first point? Use am, um, is, are? Um, uh, use am, um, is, are? plus going to plus base form for the future. And we're going to stay home tonight. Very good. Okay, um, Andres, can you read the next part, please? In question? Yes. In question, we'd be going to? Okay. In question, we'd be be going to the V verbs homes before the, the now or pronouns is he going to bake me a cake very good as i mentioned yesterday so we just changed the position from the verb be and the subject so in a sentence the verb be is in second place and the subject is in the first place so in question, the subject is in second place and the verb B is going to be in the first place. So we just change or we transpose the verb and the subject in order to make a question. Okay, we're going to do this together. We have complete Rover's story. Use the correct form of be going to and the verb in parentheses. So we have tomorrow is going to be a very exciting day. It's my birthday and my friends and I, que sería ahí? Are going to celebrate. Very good. My friends and I are going to celebrate. In the morning, Scott and I going to drive to the beach yes but there is a there is what is the verb be need, that we need to use as god and i we are we know porque we no is, porque ya están uh, los that's dos right. ellos, ¿eh? uh -huh. as mm. god and i are going to try Okay, are going to drive to the beach. Our friend Sara mm -hmm. Our friend Sara going to meet you there. Falta el verbo be. He is going to meet very good, our friends are is going to meet us there. We are 
going to stay. Very good. We are going to stay beach. at the beach for a few hours. Then we we are going to have a lunch at my favorite restaurant. At my okay. favorite restaurant. After lunch, is called after got... lunch. Scott. She's going to go to work. After lunch, Scott is going to work, and Sarah mm. and I. And Sarah and I. Going to see a movie. Falta el verbo vi. Um, are going to see a movie. Very good. And Sarah and I are going to see a movie. After the movie, we. We are going to go to our friend Charlie house. Uh -huh. He is going to cook dinner for Sarah and me. And me. Very good. That's the solution for that part. Let's move on part B. Write questions and uh, then, took, then look at the part A and answer the question. We have the example. Robert celebrate with his family. Question, is Robert going to celebrate with his family? We can answer no, he's no. He's going to celebrate with his friends. This is based on the exercise we did before. So Carlos, mm -hmm. please uh, make the question for number two. We have a Scott and Robert Take the bus to the beach. ¿Cómo sería ahí la pregunta? Tiene el, el micrófono en mute, Carlos. Okay, thank you. Hola, hola. Yes, we can hear you. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta de la número dos? Um, are they, no? Are Scott, uh -huh. are Scott and Robert Quiero ver. Take, uh, going to take Take, uh -huh, take the bus. To be, to the beach. Very good. Are Scott and Robert take, um, are Scott and Robert going to take the bus to the beach? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta, chicos? What is the answer based on the reading that we have above? Mm -hmm. Basado en la actividad A. No, they are drives to to the beach. No, they are going to drive. They are going to to drive uh, to drive to the beach. Very good. No, they are going to drive to the beach. Very good. Okay, question number three. Uh, Julia, can you help us in that? We have the friends. The friends is plural. Then we have the very have, and we have the complement lunch at the restaurant. ¿Cuál verbo utilizaría? ¿Cuál a la conjugación del verbo be? Am, is, or are. ¿Cuál de las tres? Eh, are. Okay, entonces sería, are the friends? Are the, are the friends mm -hmm. uh, going to? Mm -hmm. uh, have lunch at a restaurant? Very good. Are the friends going to have lunch at the restaurant? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Thank <laughs> you. 
The answer is here. Yeah. For A. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Dele, Nia Julia, dele. Yes. <laughs> yes eh... ¿De quién? Porque ¿De quién? De... Está, ¿De quién estamos hablando? De ellos. Entonces, ¿cómo si ellos? ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? How do you say ellos in English? En... Yes, they, they, they are. Very good, Julia. Yes, they are. Yeah. Very yes, good. Yes, they are going, uh, going to have lunch a restaurant. Very good. Solo con decir yes, they are, ya está bien la respuesta. Ya, yeah, si usted quiere agregar, they're going to have lunch in their favorite restaurant, so it would be fine. Pero con yes, they are, very good answer. Okay, let's move on number four. Sarah and Robert go to the muse, go to a museum. How do you make that question in that sentence? No, they are going to see a movie. Okay, that's the answer, but what is the question? Okay. <laughs> Me adelante un poquito. Yes. <laughs> Are Sarah and Robert going to going to go to the museum? Very good. Are Sarah and Robert going to go to the museum? So you say no. No. They are going to see a movie. We can say a contraction, they are going or they are going. Okay. Podemos contractarlo, acuérdense. What is the contraction, teacher? They are is the contraction. <coughs> Let me just to... They are. Okay. Let me see. No sé si puedo... Mandarles mensaje. Ok, no, no la puedo mandar. En el chat general. <risas> no, como estoy compartiendo pantalla, no me sale. Ah, ok. Ok, like, ok. We can say. There. Ah, there. Ok. I will, I will just um, share screen. Uh, um, the like the whiteboard okay the contraction for i am is i'm okay you are and you are okay he is he is his yes she is she's she's very good we are, we are, we are, they are, they are, they are. Just to have a review regarding this. If this is the contraction, right? I am, I'm, you are, your, he is, his, she is, she's, we are, um, we are, and they are, they are. Okay, yeah. uh, it's something missing here. Aquí se me olvidó incluir el it is. It is, so uh -huh. it's. say it's. Okay, that is the contraction of the subject pronouns with the verb. Okay, very good. Okay, so let me share this one and uh, we're going to continue and uh, with the exercise we are um, practicing. Okay, so we finished with uh, part B. Now with part C or number two in this case, remember in order just to make an information question with be going to, so we need to add first that WH question, then we have the verb be, 
Then we have the subject, then we have the, comp, uh, the verb in infinitive, and then we have the complement. If you see, use is in question with who as the subject. Whose is the contraction the who is. Who's going to be there? Mm -hmm. We cannot use who are going to be there. So because who's is the third person, so we can use um, who's or who is. Who's or who has. Who is. Eh, ahí dice who has. <laughs> ¿A dónde? Antes aquí en el, antes del subject. Lo que dice use who in... as the subject. El Ajá, who as. Who como sujeto. Uh -huh. Ok, pero aquí la contracción de who is. Uh, the who is. That's correct. Who okay. apostrofe s es who is. Who okay. is. Este as que usted dice, eh, uh -huh. o él es okay. como. Aquí dice ah, okay. usar el is usar en preguntas pregunta con, con who, el como quién? el sujeto. Como el sujeto. Okay. That's right, as the subject. Okay, let's do this exercise. Complete the conversation with the correct form of be going to. What are you going to do this weekend? Okay, Carla, help me with letter B. Uh, I'm going to have a, a very busy weekend. Mm -hmm. My friend, my friend Ali, is going to visit, going to visit me, and we are going to spend the weekend in the city. Very good. Okay, Joel, help me with the letter A. That's nice. Are you going to stay in a hotel? Very good, that's nice. Are you going to stay in a hotel? Letter B, Carlos. No, we. Okay. ¿Qué utilizamos con el we? Is, are, o am. Are, are. Ok, no. We. Uh -huh. we, 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 we are. are. We are. Más going to, ¿cómo sería? Going to. We are going to spend. Stay. Estamos en esta de acá. No sé si ven el puntero. Ajá. Ah, ok. En esta de acá. No. We are going to st study. Stay. We are going to stay. Ah, usted. Okay. Stay. With. with uh -huh. Our friend Donna. Ajá. Uh -huh. And. And Donna. Donna es ella. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a utilizar? Am, is, or are. Is. Very good. Is. Entonces, en Donna. Is going to have it, no? It's going to have, going to have a big hola. party. A big party on Saturday night. It's going to have a big party on Saturday night. Okay, very good, Carlos. Thank you. Okay, Julia, help me with the next one. Really? Really and who? Revisa esto de acá. ¿Qué vamos a utilizar aquí? Aquí. Who's. Ok. Very good. Uh, and who's? Uh -huh. uh, and going who's to... going to be Very at good. the party? Uh -huh. Do you know any of Donna's friends? Very good. So, and who is, or, and who's going to be at the party? Do you know any of Donna's friend? Very good, Julia, thank you. Andres, help me with the last B. No, I don't, but Ali and I 
Aquí son dos. Okay, very good. So, but Ali and I are going are going are going to meet mm -hmm. every young on Saturday night. Very good. No, mm -hmm. I don't. My Ali and I are going to meet everyone on Saturday, on Saturday night. night. Everyone is cada uno, ¿verdad? Sí, es básicamente todos. Todos. Uh -huh. Everyone, okay, todos. On Saturday night. Okay, very good. Do you have questions regarding the be going to? Una pregunta con el be going to. ¿Todo está claro como el agua? Like horchata. Like horchata. <laughs> <laughs> es still horchata. Yeah. Okay. Eh, no sé, Carlos, Julia, Andrés, Carla, Joel, si tienen alguna pregunta. So, we can uh, um, clear, clear it up today. O todo está bien. Acuérdense que para formar el, pre, el, el futuro... Eh, en este caso es el sujeto más el verbo be, ya sea am, is, or are, más going to, más el verbo en su forma base, el verbo no va a cambiar, no va a sufrir ningún cambio, y el complemento. Que okay, basically, that is the formula. Joel, questions? Este, repítame por favor la estructura para el futuro. Es que este por el futuro ya planeado, right? So remember, when uh -huh. we have a plan, we have okay. the subject plus verb, verb, going to, plus going to, verb and the complement. Verb and complement, yes. Okay. Very good. Okay, Andrés, ¿alguna pregunta? ¿Todo está bien? Está buscando el libro, teacher, pero no. No lo encuentro aquí en la compu. Solo le quería hacer una pregunta. ¿eh? Ok. Teacher, el, el who's, ¿en qué momento se va a usar? ¿El who es para quién? Who, eh, como el ejemplo que acabamos de ver, que aparecía cuando veamos en alguna conversación el who, se va a poner contractado siempre. Se puede ir contractado o no. Ahí ya depende de usted si lo quiere contractar. Por ejemplo, aquí está contractado, who's. Pero si yo lo quiero poner, let me just do not at this. Si yo lo quiero poner de esta forma, vamos a hacer esto más para acá. Who is going to be there? Acuérdese que el who es es quién. Sí. Entonces, aquí estoy preguntando que quién va a estar ahí. No sé, no tengo ni idea. Entonces, por eso pregunto, who's going to be there? Ok, por ejemplo, yo, ustedes, yo les hago una pregunta. Who is going to go? A, supongamos que no hay pandemia. Who's going to go to the beach next weekend? Entonces ahí pregunto porque no sé quién va a ir. Entonces por uh -huh. eso estoy preguntando si alguien de ustedes ya tiene planeado ir a la playa. So it would be in this case. Who or who is puede ir así o puede ir contractado. Who's going to go to going to go to the beach next weekend. Next weekend. Este who, el who's, lo puedo poner como who is. Cualquiera de las dos formas está correcto. Thank you for joining us, Jenny. Good evening. Okay. Do you have any other question? Teacher, entonces, yes. este, al usar el who, uh -huh. exclusivamente, eh, no se va a usar el are, 
independientemente así. este sea un grupo el que esté esperando o cuestiones así. Así es. No se puede usar el R entonces. Uh -huh. No. Ok. Okay. Cool. okay. Good. Any other question? No. Okay. Very good. So we're going to move on, on to the next part of the class. And I will just share the presentation. So we finished to make the review about that. So I had just those exercises to continue or to reinforce that be going to. Okay, right now we're going to do is we're going to have a discussion that let's start questions on page 43. And then we're going to share our opinions with the whole class. Okay, let me just. What do, is the page 43? <laughs> Let me just to Okay, page 43 is this one, unit four, remember. This part, this is uh, the page 43 on the book. Okay, so if you see, we're going to do is going to discuss the first activity only. Are you good at reading maps? Do you usually ask for directions to locate places? Are you good at giving directions to get to the places? So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to those questions and I will give you five minutes to discuss them. Okay. So, um, no sé, Joel, si le va a tomar captura de pantalla. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, teacher. Thank okay, you. very good. Okay, let's go in pairs and let's see. And then make the groups. So, let's do this. Okay, so we're going to work. In this case, uh, Jenny and Joel and Carla, we have Erika and Flor, and and Andres and Tatiana, Carlos and Julia. Okay, let's discuss those questions. Solo la actividad numero uno. Let's get into the rooms, please. Andrés, you need to click entrar en la para el room. Que no ha entrado todavía. Okay, very good. Let's go to this part. Hola. Ahora sí. Ajá. No, ya la volvimos a perder. No, no me han perdido. No, o sea, el audio. <risa> ok. Bueno. ¿Qué pasó? Creo que está mala la conexión. Sí, porque hoy se perdieron. Sí, Joel, Jenny, ¿están ahí? ¿Escuchan? Ya, yeah, teacher. Ok, very good. He's sharing the screen. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Y como es la primera, vamos a enfocar aquí. Very good. Are you good at reading maps? In my life, I have maps in, <laughs> in paper. Really? Yes. I only map in the cell phone, uh, the Google Maps. Mm -hmm. That's it. No, That's more, it. Have, no more, more maps. Okay. But is, it, is it for you to read a map? 
In the cell phone? Ah, in the cell phone, yes. Oh. I have a very fast practice in Ubic on I stay I and I stay other people. Do you usually ask for direction to locate place? Mm. Not often. <clears throat> no, right now it is not too often because we have a wise a Google Maps. So. I wish the other app yeah. to to drive. Mm -hmm. Ways. Ways. What? Ways. Ah, ways. Okay, that is the correct pronunciation. <laughs> ways. So, right La nubecita now. con llanta. Yes, uh -huh. that's ways. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Yes, ahora sí la escuchamos, Jenny. Allá a lo lejos, allá por Guatemala. Por San Miguel. <laughs> Cabal, no, allá ya sabemos que ya está, pero, <ríe> pero le digo que lo haga por Guatemala porque soy más lejos. Before the, the Google Maps, I used eh, MapQuest. MapQuest, yes. MapQuest is, is through Bing, right? Es a través de Bing, no es de Google. Uh -huh. Ah, de... Before the server. Maps. Yes. <laughs> no existía así tanto como ahora la tecnología así tan avanzada. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ni el Google uh -huh. Earth. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. yes. Es mucho mejor que el Google Maps, pero pesa infinitamente más. <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay, continue. We we'll move on to the next couple. To get to place. Ah, porque este no, no creo, quiero ver. Yes, I could. No, yo creo que el going no. So I could there. Yes, uh -huh. I could. I give him. Are you good at giving directions to get places? Yes, buena en dar direcciones. Mm -hmm. A mí a veces me cuesta, más si estoy dentro de un edificio o dentro de una casa, digo allá y cuando es al otro lado. Ajá, lo mismo allá, pasa a mí. Cuando es aquí. <laughs> so I get lost on, on, on inside a building. But outside, if, if I am the street, so for me it's very easy, right? So because you get a point of reference, so you give reference. So for example, let's say it's near, nearby Metro Centro or is across from or is behind a metro centro so it's next to metro centro so you also you can give a name of the streets right so it's very easy to that okay i will just give one more minute and uh, continue discussing the questions i will okay. move on to the next couple yo le puesto yes when i don't know the place usually um, usually asks uh, as the directions for uh, uh, anywhere place or anywhere place se puede decir o es redundante or teacher? any place you can say any, any place, place. Okay. Ahí podríamos responder, yes, I usually ask for ask direction for go to place. You can I'm just say, I usually ask for directions. Oh, Don't, no, 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 es, no, es, no es necesario agregar to go to places, or to go to place. So in this case, porque como ya está, ya se puso en el contexto que es pregunta por direcciones para llegar a un lugar. So you can say, I usually ask for directions. And that's it. Okay, just one more minute and I will move on to another couple. Okay. La clase. Sí. Do you finish? Do you finish, guys? 
Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very good. Let's move on to the main room, please. Okay, very good guys. So we're going to go over to the first questions on this activity. And uh, this is, let me just go to that, to the book. Okay, and the first question is, are you good at reading maps? Yes, no, so, so. Uh, I don't read maps in paper because never have uh, maps in paper, of course. <laughs> you, you don't have any maps in paper, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And uh, But you're good at read maps in your cell phone, right? Yeah, and I use Google Maps okay. when I need. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, second question. Do you usually ask for directions to locate places? And when, when are the directions are in other places, uh, for example, in San Vicente or La Libertad? Yes, but is in San Salvador or Soyapango? Not often. Not often. Okay. Very good. Okay, so are you good at giving directions to get to places? <laughs> in Spanish? Yes. In Spanish, yes. In English, more or less. More or less. What about the rest, guys? So are you good at giving directions to get to places? Yes, no, so, so, so. Okay, I hope that you are good at giving directions. Okay, as we're going uh, to go over um, to that part, let me just do, and uh, we're going to do is, first of all, we're going uh, to go over uh, to this vocabulary. Let me share the page. Okay, we're going to learn uh, this. This, these are prepositional place. For example, we have next to, if you see here, so let me just to get the mouse. If you see here, next to is the person or things that are in this side, next to, right? So we have in front of, Okay, in front of, that is, I have, I have the camera in front of me. So this is the camera and the camera is in front of me. Okay, we have between, when someone is in the middle, across the street, so estamos al cruzar la calle, across the street, around the corner, if you see, a la vuelta de la esquina. On the right, so this is the right and in your side is your left. Okay, this is my left, okay, down the street. So when you're going down the street, right? So we have also, and I will just share a conversation. Okay, but before going to the conversation, excuse me, I'm going to share some vocabulary. Let me just to sum up this. And we have this part. Let me just do. Okay, let me just to share this part. Do you see the screen? Ven la pantalla? Yeah. Okay, if you see, we have different places around town. For example, we have a barber shop. We have a grocery store. We have laundromat. We have livery. We have a stationery store. 
theater and travel agency. Okay, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to work in this together. Um, this is the description for each of these places. For example, barber shop, wash and dry clothes, buy food, buy cards and paper, get a haircut, see a movie or play, make reservations for a trip or borrow books. Letter D, get a haircut. That is the? Barber shop. Barber shop. Get a haircut. Get a haircut. Very good. What about grocery store? Grocery store. Um, B. Buy food. Okay, very good. Tatiana, what about laundromat? Tiene microphone en mute. Thank okay. you. Long, long to mat, uh, wash, I wash and dry clothes closed. Very good. Wash and dry clothes. Okay, library. Julia, what well, we have library? And, and let it see. Buy cards and papers. Okay, that is a tricky one. Okay, nosotros eh, aquí en español eh, conocemos como librería, pero librería. library no es librería. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mm, and letter D. Very good. That is for books. Very good. Okay, number five. Sure. Yes. Uh, what is borrow? Borrow is prestar. Oh. Pedir prestado, perdón. I borrow, yo presto. Okay, presto los, los libros. Loan es cuando le prestan, right? Es un crédito. ¿Cómo? Loan. Loan. Ah, pero ese es en efectivo. Yes. Very good. And very good. And next one, uh, number five, is stationary store, Carla. They buy cards and paper. That's a stationary store. Very good. And theater number six, Carlos. Turn the microphone in mute, Carlos. Sería. See a movie or play. Very good. And uh, we have the last one, travel agency floor. Make reservation for a trip. Very good, make reservation for a trip. Okay, very good. Let's do this part. Closing store, teacher, teacher. yes, yes. How do you, uh, how do you translate a stationary store? Stationary store is como un, en ese caso sería una librería. Where you can buy cards and paper. Okay. okay. Uh, let's do letter B. Closing store, drugstore, internet cafe, music store, and post office. Can you give a description about that? Okay, closing store. So you can say it's a place where you find or where you can buy 
and the other thing, all right? So closing store. Closing store. Mm -hmm. Yes. Jenny, any idea? Closing is, is a play where find, buy, clothes, dress, shoes. Okay, very good. Closing store is a place where you find a clothes or where you buy clothes. Okay, dress, very good. Drugstore. Well, can you help us? It's, it's a place and you, you can buy uh, medicine. Very good. It's a place where you can buy medicine. Very good, internet cafe. Erica, please. Internet cafe, um, a place uh, where there is a computer, computer? Okay, very good, it's a place where there is comp there are computers. Or, uh, ya casi, uso, bueno, al menos para, eh, antes sí se usaba bastante el internet café, right? But today it is uh, easier to have internet in your house. So it's a place where you can surf in the internet. Okay, it will be another description. Very good, Erica, thank you. Uh, music store. Carlos. Carlos. It's a place we can music store. Uh, it's a place where you no se me ocurre nada, sir. ¿Cómo decir? Okay, it's a place where you can sell in the music store. La vamos a ayudar. Buy a disc. Okay, very good. It's a place where you can buy disc of CDs or CDs. basically in general music. All right. Ahora vamos al tener. Ya casi no existen. De hecho, es rara la music store that you can find it, right? And we tenemos uh, los MP3, we can navigate in YouTube, Spotify, YouTube, Spotify YouTube. very good. But basically, um, that is a music store online. Porque usted paga yes. cierto, una mensualidad para escuchar esa música, sin anuncios, It's claro. Like Spotify. Like Spotify, we have this here as well. We have Spotify, we have some other platform regarding uh, to buy music. Very good. Now, the last one, post office. Andres, help us in this, post office. Uh, teacher, uh, post yes. office is how Correo El Salvador? Yes. Correo. Yes. That's correct. Okay, uh, it's a place. Um, I said, uh, how can we say packages? Package. Packages, uh, uh, my parents. Okay, well, you can say packages or package to another people. Very good. Or also, you can send a letter. Ya no es tan usual utilizar el correo normal para mandar una carta. Es más fácil that we use that email. But um, you can send a postcard. Una postcard is una, una tarjeta postal, all right? So you can send it and just write, this is my trip to Hawaii, or this is my trip in Peru. So you can see the Machu Picchu and you can describe sincerely Francisco Serrano or your husband or your friend. So you can send uh, those kind of things in the mail, right? So in a post office, very good. So basically, esto es las cosas. Si hay muchas más cosas, en, ¿qué, ¿qué otras cosas podemos encontrar alrededor de nuestro entorno? ¿Qué lugares? Los que no están acá. 
For example, in my neighborhood, I can find a supermarket. There is a super selectos and there is la despensa familiar near my house. Also, there is a market. A grocery? A grocery store. Very good. ¿Qué, otros, qué otras cosas podemos tener en nuestro alrededor, en nuestro donde vivimos? Hospital. Car wash, hospital, very good. Police station. Police station. Restaurant. Restaurants. ¿Qué más? Gas station. Gas stations. Yes, Carla. Pupuserías. Yes. We can say pupuserías. Very good. And they are delicious. I love pupusas. I always eat pupusas on Saturday night. Before the movie. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. In my case, Saturday night, I eat uh, tamales. A tamales. Those are yes. rich. Those are delicious. Okay. Very good. Besides pupuserías, ¿qué más podemos encontrar? What Dry else clean. Dry, Dry clean. clean. Very good. Dry clean. And also malls or shopping malls. Okay, so we can find at different places like drugstores. Okay, ice so cream store. Ice cream store, very that good. That shopping center. That shopping center, if it's near from your area, so you can find a shopping center too. Okay, very good. So we're going to do, let me unshare this one. Lo voy a dejar de compartir, lo voy a compartir. No, I think, yes. <coughs> Okay, let me share this. Okay, now let's move on to this conversation. Okay, this is a conversation between Jack and uh, Mrs. Day. Okay, let's listen to this. Unit eight, what's your neighborhood like? Page 50, exercise two, conversation. I'm your new neighbor. Listen and practice. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Very good. Do you have any questions about vocabulary? <laughs> Teacher, when yes. you say, by the way, what is? By the way is, eh, por cierto. Oh, it's por a, es como es a sal verb. Ajá, es, es, sí, es un phrase of verb, by the way. Uh, Podría ser como un tipo de phrase over, pero en uh -huh. este caso es como que se me olvidó decirle, o en ese caso yo utilizo by the way, by the way, como agregar algo a la conversación. Ok, okay. any other question? Mm. Neighbor. Vecino. Landromat. Neighbor es vecino, landromat es eh, la lavandería. La lavandería. Dry yes. clean, me decimos aquí. Any other? No. Nope. Okay. Grocery store, ¿cómo se traduce aquí? ¿A dónde? O sea, aquí donde dice Jack, I'm looking for a grocery store. Grocery store no tiene de conveniencia. Más que todo es donde se venden eh, cosas básicas como arroz, frijoles. Es como un, un mini super. Pongámosle así. Una tienda de cereales. Okay. Ajá, una tienda de, de cereales. Cuando se venden eh, cosas básicas. Right? Yes. Welcome. Any other question? Okay. Let's practice this. We're going to practice one, uh, one time and then we're going to um, read. Uh, I'm going to be Jack and then you're going to miss day but right now please uh, repeat after the audio unit 8 D. 
Exercise 2. Conversation. I'm your new neighbor. Listen and practice. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Excuse me. Excuse me. I, I'm your new, new, new neighbor, neighbor. Jack. Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery. Oh. Oh, yes. oh, yes. And I will just. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there, are there any around here? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Yes, yes. yes. they are some on Pine Street. Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Oh, oh good. good. And okay. is there a laundromat near here? Near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, by the way, by the way, way. there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. <laughs> there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. <laughs> A barber shop? A barber shop. <laughs> Very good. Okay, I'm going to be Jack and you Miss Day. Mrs. Day. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I'm just moving. Oh yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes. Yes. There are there are some on Pine on Street. Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, uh, I, well think I think there's, there's one across, across from, from the shopping, shopping center. center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop. Um, okay, thank you. You continue. <laughs> By the way, a barber shop in the shopping, shopping center. Too? Shopping center. A barber shop? Okay, now we reverse <laughs> roles. Okay, you are Jack and I miss a one, two, three. Excuse me. Excuse me. I am I just moan. Oh yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around there? Here? Yes, there are some of Pine Street. Oh good. oh, good. And I uh, and uh, is, is there a laundromat near here? here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber uh, shop. Very good. Okay, <laughs> now Carlos will be Jack and uh, Miss Day, Mrs. Day will be Julia. Excuse me, I am your new neighbor, Jack, in use move it in. Oh, yes. I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, they are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barbershop in the shopping center too. A barbershop? Very good. Okay, we have Carla and uh, Flor. Carla will be Jack and Flor will be Means Day. You can, um, Carla, you can use your name. Okay, uh, excuse me, I'm your new neighborhood, Carla, I just moved in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some, some one fine street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. 
By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Very good. Okay, Tatiana and Erica. Erica will be Jack and Tatiana will be Miss Date. Erica, you can use your name. Excuse me. I am your new Nick Bird. Erica, no. I just <laughs> move it in. Oh, this. I am looking for a George store. Are there any around there? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. Uh, is there a Lord Bat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barbershop in the shopping center too. A barbershop? Very good. Okay, we have Andres Anna, and Jenny. Jenny will be Miss Day and Andres will be Jack. So you can use your name. Excuse me. I'm your neighbor, Andres, and you move it in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are here and around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And there are a long road near here. Well, I think there are one across from that shopping center. Well, thank you. By the way, there are a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, Joel, George, Jack, and I am his day. Okay. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. <laughs> oh, yes. Goodbye, <laughs> teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue, Joel. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Very good. Okay, so we practice the conversation, and uh, I will move on uh, to this part. Okay, I will get focus on this one only, right? So that's what I'm zooming this part. We're going to focus on this uh, because there is the preposition of place where that we are going to cover right now. We have on, next to, near, we must utilize our near or close to. We must utilize our across from or opposite, in front of, in back off, which is back off or behind, between, on the corner of. Okay, do you have any questions de estas preposiciones? Teacher. Yes. Eh, opposite, eh, si across from is enfrente, opposite, what is? Lo mismo. Ah. O sea, puede ser across from or opposite, el opuesto. Igual, in back of es lo mismo que behind. Ajá, porque yo back of lo tenía como a mi espalda. Parece in back of or behind. Ajá. Ok, any other, welcome, any other question? No? Okay, now I will just explain a little bit this. Is there is, there is, there are, one, any, and some. So we use is there cuando es in singular. Okay? So is there a laundromat near here? Is there a shopping center near here? Is there a post office near here? Okay, just in singular. So when we use uh, are there, 
is for Pluto. Are there any grocery store uh, stores? Si ustedes se fijan, aquí está el plural. Are there any grocery stores around here? El grocery no se puede, no puede ser plural, sino que stores. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. No, there are. Si decimos yes, there are. There are some na, um, nice store on Pine Street. Y le damos la ubicación de donde están. No, there aren't, but there are some on Third Avenue. No hay aquí o cerca, pero hay algunas, el some es algunas, on the Third Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Aquí es que no hay ninguna, ni cerca, ni alguna lugar donde pueda yo conocer que haya. So there's none. Okay, very good. So I will share this one and I will move on to the book. Let's move on to the book. And I will share this part. Okay, if you see, we have uh, this part. Take turns and read the direction. Uh, your partner will be labeled the places, uh, the places, the map. For example, the hotel is across the street. The gas station is around the corner. The bank is next to the gas station. The ATM is down the street on the right. The restaurant is down the street on the left. Okay, volunteer. I will say something en alguno de ustedes va a escribir en uno de esos espacios. No sé si pueden, eh, si les deja, si tienen la opción de anotar. Permítame, voy a volver a compartir. I share that one. Teacher. Yes. Este, después del ejercicio, ¿cree que puede compartir la, el Grammar Focus? Yes, no problem. Ok, thank you. Welcome. Ok, no sé si les da la opción de anotar. Arribita, arriba de la pantalla hay una... No sé si les da la opción de anotar. Ok, I will say the hotel is across the street. So we have already done that. It's across, right? It's across the street. So the gas station is around the corner. ¿Cuál sería? Around the corner. Podría ser la que está, digamos, across the hotel. Okay, very good. It could be this one. Okay, so we can right here, gas station. Okay, <coughs> very good. That's the gas station. Okay, um, the bank is next to the gas station. ¿A dónde sería? ¿Sería la que está atrás? ¿Cuál sería? ¿Esta de acá? No. no, no. ¿Esta? La que está atrás de gas station. No. ¿Esta? Esa, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, so we can say this is the bank. Bank. Very good. Next one. The ATM is down the street on the right. La que está next to the bank, the hotel, perdón. Next to the hotel. Mm -hmm. Okay, remember this is Le left the lado. It's left from. Okay, the this is the left. De donde lo vemos. In, okay. in front of gas station. In front of the gas station. Very good. That is the ATM. Okay. Entonces yo me perdí donde estoy parado. Okay. Empezamos desde aquí. Ajá. Abajo. 
Okay. Esta de acá es la derecha y esta es la izquierda. Sí, 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 ya estaba mal ubicado. Ok, don't worry. Ok, and the last one, the restaurant is down the street on the left. It will be uh -huh. this one, right? So yeah. there will be restaurant. This will be the restaurant. Ok, very good. So I will just... Do you have any question regarding this? ¿Alguna pregunta con eso? Everything is okay? Teacher, I yes. have a question, but yes. uh, other place. Eh, en caso de decir, eh, camine de frente o camine recto, ¿cómo lo hago? Go straight. Go straight. Go straight, yes. Eh, en el chat, mándenme cómo se escribe straight. Aquí está. Ah, ok. Go straight. You can say go up, go down the street. Ok, go past, walk down the street. Turn left, go for two blocks. Turn right, take the first left or the first right. So, you can say that. So we can have this one. Okay, but before moving to this, so we are going uh, to go over um, to a listening part. Okay, any question before moving to the listening part? ¿Alguna pregunta antes de movernos al listening? No. No? Okay. Let me just share, unshare that one. And I will share this part. Okay, if you see um, that is something that is a map, we have a hotel, we have a bowling, we have a bank, a bookstore, a hospital, a police station, school, bus station, we have a car, a bar the city hall library post office and we have a zoo okay we have as well the prepositional place across from behind between in front of near next to and opposite okay so what we're going to do is we're going to listen to this and you're going to answer true or false to these statements okay let's listen to this Number one, the hotel is next to the bank. Number two, the zoo is opposite the police station. Number three, the library is between the post office and the supermarket. Number four, the bowling alley is on East Street. Number five, the bar is on the corner of West Street and South Street. Number six, City Hall is in front of the library. Number seven, the hospital is near the bus station. Number eight, the zoo is behind the post office. Number nine, the bowling alley is behind the bookstore. Number 10, the school is between the bus station and the police station. 
Okay, very good. Let's go over to the map once again. We have the hotel here, we have the bank, the bar, the city hall, the bookstore, bowling, uh, bowling alley, hospital. We have the supermarket in this way. We have the library in this way, post office. Then we have the zoo, police station, bus station, and the school. Do you have any questions about this vocabulary? No questions sobre los lugares? Teacher. Yes. Uh, bowling alley. Es, el, es como decir el galaxy bowling. Ajá, el boliche. Okay, okay. Thank you. Welcome. Any other question? Abajo no. de school, ¿qué es lo que dice? No alcanzo a ver. Bus station. Ah, bus station. Gracias. Okay, very good. Let's go one by one. Okay, let's go on that. Let me just to move in this and let's play the audio. We go to number one and number two. So you can see here the for number one and two, the, that which is the zoom in, it's bigger than the other one. Let's do number one and number two. Number one, the hotel is next to the bank. Number two, the zoo is opposite the police station. Okay, so number one, the hotel is next to the bank. Is true or false? True. Very good. So the zoo is opposite. Opposite the police station. True. Yes. True. That is true. true. Very good. Let's move on to number three and four. I don't know what happened. Number two. The zoo is opposite the police station. Number three, the library is between the post office and the supermarket. The library is? Post office and the super. Number three, the library is between the post office and the supermarket. Number four. Number four. The bowling alley is on East Street. Okay, so number three is true or false? False. Okay. What about number four? False. True. Okay, number four is false too. Okay, let's move on to number five and six. Number five, the bar is on the corner of West Street and South Street. Number six. City Hall is in front of the library. Okay, number six, City Hall is in front of the library. Is this true or false? Number six. It's true. City Hall is in front of the library. The library is false. It's, it's false, false because in front of we have a bookstore, right? Bookstore. Mm -hmm. So what about number five? Is true or false? True. Yes, it's true. That's true. Very good. Let's move on to number seven and eight. Number seven. The hospital is near the bus station. Number eight. 
Number eight. The zoo is behind the post office. Okay, so what about number seven? Number seven is true or false? It's true. It's true. What about number eight? It's true. It's true as well. false. It's true. That is true. The number eight? Number eight false. is true. Number eight is true. Okay, if you see number uh, number eight, I'm sorry, it's false. You're right. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So let's move on to number nine and ten. Number nine. The bowling alley is behind the bookstore. Number 10. The school is between the bus station and the police station. Okay, so what about number 9? True. Number 9 is true. We get the bowling alley is behind the bookstore. And number 10 is true or false? False. Not false. So the school is between the bus station and the police station. Okay, basically what we're going to do is we're going to um, give directions like this one. But before doing that, so we need to go to how to use imperatives. Let me just share this part. ¿Alguna pregunta antes de pasar a la siguiente actividad? Con respecto a, al audio. ¿Todo está bien? Ok. So, in this case, so we're going to um, how to use imperatives. Should we pay uh, attention to the explanation and um, you have uh, ask questions if you have. And then we're going to uh, get in peers and compare what we have. So, we're going to uh, develop the exercise. The exercise is on page number four, number uh, 44, excuse me. Let me just go in this. And uh, what we have is this one. As I mentioned before, we use this in order just to give directions, imperatives. So remember when it is imperative, that is a person must to do it. Do the phrases about have a subject, yes or no? No, right? So use a verb without a personal pronoun, an imperative to give directions. So for example, where is the um, laundromat? Go straight on a first avenue and then a turn left on the second avenue. Okay, if you see, I say go straight. No menciono you go straight, solo le digo go straight. That's it, es como una orden. Go past, turn left, turn right. Go up, go down the street, walk down the street, go on four two blocks, take the first left or take the first right. Okay, so we use this one to give directions, to reinforce what we are saying. We have uh, the activity number five. We have a short conversation, what it says. Good morning, could you give me directions to the nearest hotel? Good morning, sure. Walk down the street and turn left. Thank you, no problem. Si ustedes se fijan, no le digo, you walk down the street and turn left. Solo di, le digo, solo le doy la orden, walk down and turn left. No utilizo ahí ningún sujeto, ningún pronombre. Okay, you, they, no. So, solo uh, da la orden. Walk down, turn left. Walk down the street and turn left. Y ahí va a estar. So, you can, you can see, you can use this. Okay. Preguntas sobre este, eh, los imperatives. Acuérdense que estas, los imperatives son 
como órdenes, son commands. Go straight, go pass, turn left, turn right, go up, go down the street, walk down the street, go on four, two blocks, take first left and turn first right. ¿Alguna pregunta? Everything is everything okay? Porque ahorita lo que vamos a hacer, les voy a mostrar un mapa y vamos a trabajar en parejas para dar direcciones. No? Nope. Is it clear? Okay. Very good. So you keep in mind this part and also uh, the preposition of places. What we're going to do, we're going to go back to this. Let me just... We're going to go back to this. Let me just to zoom out. Do you see uh, the map? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. So, no le vamos a hacer caso a esto de acá. Is there a bank around here? Are there any gas station on Main Street? Lo que vamos a hacer es, um, is um, ask for direction. Excuse me, where is the bus office? Okay, so we have the street here, First Avenue. En este lado, we have Main Street Main en todo street. este lado. We have the Second Avenue on this side. And we have the Pine Street on this side. And in the middle, we have the Maple Avenue. And uh, bottom, we have Elm Street. Okay, so for example, uh, Jenny, um, how uh, is there a gas station or how can I get to the gas station? Jenny, no stop. To, Jenny. Uh -huh. You need to go straight for First Avenue. Mm -hmm. And you you find it around the corner around on the corner. Um, first uh, ahí yeah. cuando decimos uh, the first avenue and main street very avenue. good so you can walk down okay first avenue or go straight first avenue and uh, you find the gas station or you find it around the corner or First Avenue and Main Street. Ustedes se fijan, aquí está la gas station. Okay. ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Está claro, chicos? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, we're going to get in pairs. So you can use, uh, pueden utilizar la conversación que está en el libro, en la actividad 5, good morning, could give me directions to the nearest, y mencionan el lugar, aquí están los lugares, public library, gas station, electronics, we have also uh, post office, John's gym, on um, all days department store, we have mom and papa's grocery, the Parker's drugstore, top shoes, we have Franz Cafe, Jimin, Jemison Hotel. We have Rosa's Restaurant in Kim Plaza. First Bank, First National Bank, Princess Grocery Store, and uh, um, the First Avenue Shopping Center. So you can ask the question, or you can uh, use the conversation, la conversación que está en la uh, actividad 5, en la página número 44. When I said, good morning, could, I, could you give me directions to the nearest hotel? Ah, good morning, sure. Um, where is the hotel? So the, you can say, walked uh, straight on, go straight on Elm Street, and you find the hotel around the corner or Elm Street, 
aquí pueden inventar una calle. Como aquí no está la, el nombre de la calle, you can say eh, second of third avenue. You can say third avenue. Okay, so go straight Elm Street and you find it around the corner of Elm Street and the third avenue. Okay, so let's work in pairs. So tenemos un par de minutos. Le voy a dar 10 minutos so we can practice the conversation on that. Okay, let me, no sé si le tomaron captura de pantalla al mapa. Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Let's. Yo no, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Okay, voy a yeah. share that. Espérenme, no sé si compartí otra cosa. Okay, sí. let me just do. Okay, we have it here. No sé si la necesitan un poco más grande. Déjenme just move in. Right. Okay. Does everybody take a picture of that? See? Sí? Okay. Very good. I will just um, go on uh, the couples and let's do this. Okay, we have Andres and uh, we're going to work with Joel. Okay, and then we have Carlos work with um, Tatiana. Then we have Erica will work with um, Flor. And then uh, Jenny will work with Julia. Let's get into the groups, please. <laughs> okay, do you have any question, guys? Teacher, eh, la conversación que dijo, eh, este, no le tomé captura. Okay, I will share that. Y la, la grammar focus, ¿cree que me hace el favor y me manda por WhatsApp? Ahorita se lo voy a compartir. Okay, esa es la conversación de la actividad 5. Okay, thank you, teacher. Welcome, and I will share uh, the grammar focus. This one. You can take a picture of that. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, teacher. Welcome. Okay, remember to use the conversation that you have on the activity number five. For example, let's say, um, let's do that. For example, I can ask, good morning, could you give me directions to the nearest grocery store? Good morning, sure. Y ahí empezamos a dar la... Um, a utilizar los, ¿cómo se llama? Los uh, imperatives. Ok, go straight, go past, turn left, turn right, and so on. Ok, so you have right now, it's 8.50, you have five minutes only. Ok, let's do that. And I will move on to another couple. Okay. Ay, Tatiana Flores, este, yo le voy a preguntar, Ay, creo que se me hizo, aquí está. No puede ser de una sola, es una pregunta directa, disculpe, ¿dónde queda tal lugar? Oh, ok, Ex excuse me, uh -huh. eh, quiero ver a dónde voy a ir, voy a ir a, voy a ir a, Hamilton Hotel. Excuse me. Hamilton Hotel. Excuse me. Where is 
is Hamson Hamison Hotel Heminson. Heminson. Heminson is Hotel. Heminson Hotel uh, near here? Oh near yes, near, near here. Near here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Excuse yeah. me. Is Jamison. 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 Hotel. 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 Near. Here. Near here. Yes. Y sería entonces the Jamison Hotel is ¿cómo sería? Tiene que utilizar los comandos. Si en ese caso el imperativo, podemos utilizar go straight, el nombre de la calle. Okay, go, go straight, straight on Elm Street. And okay. you find uh, the Jamison Hotel ah, sí, next sí, to, no. next to, or behind, uh, or in front of, no sé, ahí puede utilizar cualquier proposición. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Entonces sería. Me voy a poner. Oh, sure. Eh, no. Sure. Jameson, Jameson, Jameson Hotel is. Is go, go straight. Go straight. El nombre de la calle. Go straight. El, el, Elm, Elm, Elm Street. ¿no? Elm Street, yes. Street. ¿Eh? Solo, solo cuando se quedaría, digamos, solo el nombre de la calle. Elm Street, Elm Street y está a la par, está detrás, ahí utilizando ah. una preposición de lugar. Sería entonces contigo, ajá. Para decir contigo sería, creo, digamos que era. Eh, según, según el libro dice, es. Uh, next to. Next, next to. to. Very good. France Coffee. Eh? Mm -hmm. Next to France Café. Sería ahí porque dice Café. France, France Café. Yes, it's France Café. Y me preguntaba, ¿y dónde queda France Café? <laughs> Ok, como ya le dijo, como ya le dijo que si era recto es sobre la calle Elm, entonces va a encontrar a, primero a Franz Café y a la parte de Franz Café va a encontrar a Jameson Street. Es como que digamos aquí siga recto y uh -huh. ahí va a encontrar una farmacia, el nombre de la farmacia pues a la par está. Uh -huh. So you can see it in en nuestro lexico, no hay donde perder no hay donde perder porque va a ir recto ni va a doblar sí, siquiera no, vale. very good so you have two more minutes and I will go to the main room dice cuántas cuántas lo que puedan líneas lo que puedan hacer en, en dos minutos ah ok, okay. vaya entonces yo le voy a volver a preguntar eh, le voy a decir ah Do you have a question? No. Um, eh, estaría bien si damos una dirección. Queremos dar la dirección de la farmacia. Uh -huh. The drugstore. Si la, si la persona está por el banco. Uh -huh. Entonces, está en el banco. Sería walk on Main Street. Street. Main Street. Is, uh -huh. is between. Uh -huh. uh, top shoes. En Mon en Grocery, no, 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 no alcanzo a leer lo que es. Mon, is Mons and Pops Grocery. And Pops Grocery. Mm -hmm. Así sería. Yes, going, uh, go, uh, sería entonces, go straight Pine Street. Mm -hmm. Si está en el banco, right? Going mm -hmm. straight on Pine Street. And uh, you find the grocery store and next to the park. Of, or, ¿Qué quieren encontrar? La drugstore. Mm -hmm. Okay, is next, it's between Mom's and Pop's grocery store and Top Shoes. Okay. I sería go straight Pine Street. Pine Street. Yeah, very good. Okay. Top 
ejemplo sería entre pine stream. No. Questions? Sí, teacher. Yes. Estamos viendo la, la dirección de First National Bank. Mm. Y queremos decir, the, the First National Bank is across the street, King Plaza, Plaza Hotel. ¿Se puede um, decir? Sería, is behind. Is behind, atrás. Mm -hmm. Porque si se fija, la entrada está aquí en el Elm Street. Pero está una calle por medio también. Liles. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, um, se podría decir también it's across from. Mm -hmm. It's across from? It's across from uh, King Plaza Hotel. Ok. Dice hasta ahí. O puedo, o puedo decir across a hotel o un, un, around the corner de Pine Street and First Avenue. You cannot give that information too. No es. No es. O sea, está bien si da más información. Ah, vaya. Perfecto. Okay. Let's go to the main room because there are three minutes to ten. Okay. Let me just do. Ok, guys, antes que se me olvide, vamos a, voy a tomar asistencia. So, I forgot to take uh, attendance at night. So, we move on this quickly. Eduardo Antonio Ángel Martínez, Jenny Quesada Fernández de uh, Campos. Present. Thank you. Kenny Alexandra Montenegro Galdames, Sergio Alberto Sosa Santos, Mónica Guadalupe Martínez Munguía, José Ernesto Rivera Deras, Wendy Johanna Estrada Escobar, Andrés Ubaldo Ramos Cepeda. Por ahí estaba Andrés. Ok, but he got disconnected, but he was in the class. And uh, we have Eduardo Alfredo Pérez Rugamas, Tatiana Flores. Present. Thank you very much. Carla Evelyn Meléndez Guzmán. Ok, estaba también. So, he, she, she got disconnected. Probably she got issues with the internet. Erika Paulina Rivera Llanes. Present. Thank you very much. Maritza Elizabeth Chicas Villalta. Mariela Lourdes Amaya Herrera. Flor Morena Rodríguez de Morales. Present. Thank you very much. Carlos Emilio Contreras Romero. Thank you very much. Dora Ayala de López, Emma Carolina Araniva Sarabia, Daniel Edgardo Álvarez Hernández, Julia Carolina Monge Rodríguez. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. So I just went over to the rooms and uh, um, you gave very good directions. So you asked in a good way how to get to a place, right? So, estuvimos eh, viendo, estuve moviéndome de room en room y en lo que oí está bastante bien las direcciones como las han estado dando. Is there any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? No questions. Okay, so what did we learn today, guys? ¿Qué es lo que aprendimos el día de ahora? the review that going to okay very good and the direction follow the map okay very good ¿Qué más? the imperative the imperative you go straight go down uh turn left turn, turn left turn right very good Ok, guys. Eh, ahora no vamos a ver lo que es eh, la tarea de esta unidad, de esta, de esta clase, pero sí la podemos revisar con las personas que están agendadas para ahora. Eh, dentro de un ratito tengo a, eh, a Carlos, que va de 10 a 10 y 10. Eh, Dora y Emma ni Daniel no están. Entonces, Julia va a pasar de 10 y 20, de 10 y 10, perdón, a 10 y 20. Joel me dijo que usted se eh, iba a estar, ¿verdad? En la meeting. 
del 1-1. Joel, ¿me escucha? Ya, yeah, teacher. Ok, no sé si alguien más quiere estar en la uh, meeting de one on one aquí solo díganme para poder apuntarles ahí o alguien que quiera meterse porque Joel va a estar de 10 y 20 a 10 y media no sé si alguien se quiere meter de 10 y media en adelante solo mandan mensaje al, al chat o al whatsapp ok eh, teacher, antes sí. de retirarme, uh -huh. eh, para la reunión esta, eh, es el que ya mandaron a WhatsApp. Quiero ver. No, no lo han mandado todavía. No, temprano lo mandaron como a las 8 o 7 más o menos. A siete, ah, ¿no? este ya, ya lo encontré. No sé si es ese exactamente, porque eh, no puedo ver ahorita el link del, del WhatsApp, del perdón, del, de la meeting. Pero eh, la puedo mandar cuando me una para cuando abra la, la meeting. No, okay. ok, entonces si alguien se quiere venir a la clase eh, de one on one después de las diez y media, es very welcome. Ok, así podemos realizar la... A tarea que está pendiente o la tarea del día de ahora. Ok, any question? No hay Entonces preguntas. yo me tendría que salir a las diez y media, estemos como estemos. Ajá, así es. Ok. Ok, al menos que no hayan mandado a alguien el mensaje, si usted gusta estarse más tiempo, no hay problema. Si avisan, no sé si pueden avisar en el WhatsApp group que quieren estar después de las diez y media. Y con todo gusto eh, hacemos el one on one. Ok, si no hay más preguntas, eh, vamos a finalizar la clase en estos momentos a las 10.3. Entonces se van a correr 10, eh, 3 minutos, 4 minutos, porque van a ser las 10, las 10 con 4. Entonces va a estar Carlos de 10.5 a 10.15 eh, y así se van a correr 5 minutos. Ok, mientras okay. nos Good night, vemos. Everyone. Al, a la reunión, ok good night, see you tomorrow remember, la clase es a las 8 chicos, see you tomorrow have a nice night and uh, see you around, take care